I'm Dick King. I'm Vice President of Associated Food Stores in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm excited about this opportunity to talk about our acquisition of the Albertson stores in the Utah marketplace. I've spent about 45 years in the retail food and drug industry, and about 36 of them with Albertsons and 20 of them in the Utah division. I'm excited to share with you the new name of the store. The stores will be known as Fresh Market. We're excited about this name because it tells people what we want to be known for, and that's fresh. As we look at the changes that we will be making in these stores, I think the first thing you'll see is new lower prices. We need to make sure that we're competitively priced in the marketplace. Another enhancement for us is our Western Family products. These are well-known items in the marketplace, and we're excited about bringing them into the new stores. We've had numerous questions about the preferred savings card. Our philosophy that if we're given the right prices, you don't need a card to shop with us. And we're going to make sure that the prices on the shelf is what every customer that walks in the store is going to pay for it. Also, we'll have the opportunity, the advantage of having the Utah Zone program. And these highlight the great products that are available for us in the state of Utah. We think it's very important to have good quality merchandise in the stores, a good selection of product, and also the best service in town. As we evaluate the personnel needs of our stores, we have found that the Albertsons employees are great. We're excited about the opportunity of them being part of our team, and we're especially excited that the majority of them would decide to stay on with us. This is a perfect opportunity for us because it's important to us, being a local company, that our employees are local. We realize we have a lot of changes to make in the store, but I think the one thing that we have to remember, that no matter what the name on the building is or the color of the walls in the store, it really comes down to the people in the store and that's our employees, and that's our guests. And if we're doing what we need to to take care of them, we're going to be successful.